live from the Livecraft Mind Server with your host, Captain Tim 100. Good morning, afternoon, and evening, guys. Welcome back to LCM episode 23. Pretty sure that's right, 23. So, we've got a lot to show today and a lot to do, actually. Um, but first, let's start off with the immaturity of LCM. Mem has built a store in town called Balls. It's not open yet, is it? No, it's still coming soon. But he's basically selling ball shaped objects like magma, cream. Um, slime balls, ender pearls, you know, that sort of stuff. And originally it was called Balls. But this happened. Thought your store needed a fitting name, Lamps. P.S. Snapchats is a shit helper. Well, we all know that. So now it says, <laughs> now it says Mem's Sweaty Balls, which is just incredibly creative from Lamps. Um, originally he spelled it wrong, I was watching him build it, trying to distract Mem from coming over here. Um, and he spelled it Mem's City Balls. Which to be honest, probably would have been funnier, but it's still great. I don't, I don't know if he's going to take it down or not. I know Lamp is cheaped out as well, he used wool instead of quartz. But it's still hilarious. So, on to this. This is now built, is my render distance down? There is, yeah. Okay, um... So let's jump on top of the town hall here so we can see the sign. Oh, there you go. So Mem really likes my sign. We're having a little bit of sign wars at the minute. Let's get me get into position. <sighs> Captain Erect is the name of our new store. It doesn't mean what you think it means. It means that we erect buildings around, around Serenity and the map for people that want to use them. Now, who was it? Is it Lamps? Lamps and Snapchats were getting a little bit concerned that I'm starting to take control of something of a monopoly in Serenity. Which isn't true. We've only got the two stores. I mean, we don't own Versace. We only built that. But it's not a bad idea. We could create a monopoly. So, Red Mart, I think I've shown you guys around the bottom of now. Yeah, I did it last episode. Um, so, let's take a look around Captain Erect. We've already got our first job, which is what we're doing today. You probably need to see that by the inventory. Okay, so I was going to go for another building, but I thought, no. Let's keep it themed like we do with most of our builds. Um, I've gone for like a builder's yard. Like he leaves his supplies lying around. We've got some logs, um, some like rails, bits of iron, iron blocks. And then I came up with this idea. I think I've seen this from Fappy. Um, he came up with the idea of using the rails so it looks like the keeping the logs tied to the ground, which is a really good idea. I really like that. So that's from Fappy, channel description, go and check him out. I bent it around here a little bit just to give it a bit of kind of variation. And then this is just brick and the site is that under no it's diorite, isn't it? Yeah brick, diorite and the dark oak wood. Just kind of like a little shed. It kinda of looks like it's made out of concrete, which I didn't think it would look like at the time. I've just added the green glass in, just a bit of colour. So, let's take a little read of the book. Just knock this out. Come on. Here we go. Okay. Welcome to Captain's Contractors. That needs to change. <laughs> That's already wrong. Oh, wait. How do we change? I'll change off camera. I don't know how to do it now. Welcome to Captain's Directors. So it is one stop place for your building needs. Simply fill out a book and place it in the chest or let me know through Skype or Twitter what you want doing. Prices will be negotiated during the quotation period. Prices increase the builds where I supply the blocks, discounts for supply materials, enjoy your fine quality builds. PS, I bought Red Map, Versace, and the Magical Northern Spruce Woods Pagoda. Pretty cool references. Captain T100. And then Within about an hour of this being open, we already had Snapchats come by and he's requested that we build Club Ender. Which is the new swanky ass club in town. So we're going to build that today. Let's head on over. It's actually in my original house plot. Sorry about the frame rate. It does calm down in a minute when we get over here. Right. New club for Plot Ender. What? No, that doesn't make any sense. New spot for Club Ender is what I meant to say. 
Right, let's get rid of some of this. The hell is that? Oh, it's the horses. Um, right, so I've already come up with a design in this for creative. Let's kind of um, just figure out what the dimensions we're working on here. So we want to leave at least a one gap between the dormitories. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, so we're probably going to build it here. One, two, I am building it com- Oh, that's going to be annoying if I keep getting that wrong. Yeah, so we are building it completely out of obsidian. He's paid 15 diamonds, I think. How many is that? That is six, is it? Yep. Six, seven, eight. And then, okay, so he needs to get down to 48. No, 49. There we go. Yeah, so I've already come up with the design in creative for this. We're going to be building the Enderman texture face out of obsidian, quartz, and purple glass. And we're going to light the eyes up, so hopefully it'll look pretty cool. I don't know if he wants us to build a sign for it. I did ask him on Twitter, but he's not got back to me yet. So I'll have to wait and see what he says. Um, man, this frame rate is killing me. Right, so I'm just going to build the basic kind of structure, and then I'll cut back when we've got something done. So I'll be right back. And welcome back, guys. So we've got the basic kind of front, the front of the club sorted for snaps. And um, it's just the Enderman texture. Obviously, it needs a little bit more sprucing up yet. Maybe adding some, some more blocks to it to give it a bit more of a 3D texture because the minute it's just all flat. But we've got quartz blocks and the purple glass for the eyes. I think that looks really good. It especially looks good as well when it's night time. And um, if you guys want to build this, it's nine by nine. Um, with four blocks of space before the eyes and one block in the middle. Uh, it's just the redstone lamps, I'll show you guys this. Uh, redstone lamps behind for the eyes, but they will be hidden. You won't be able to see them. That Russian water is really annoying. There's like, since I've been building in Serenity, there appears to be like a massive lake below it. Oh, we need to sort that out actually, don't we? Because you're going to be able to hear that during... Oh, where's that rushing water? There it is. Is that it? We've got to stop it, otherwise we'll be able to hear it while you're walking around inside. Is that it down there? Oh, where's that coming from? Um. Yeah, there's just a huge lake beneath Serenity. Okay, well I'll find that off camera, and um, because we can't have that flowing around while we're doing the build, so I'll change it to quartz slab, um, at least for the main bits anyway, just so we can get a little bit more quartz out of it. Wrong one. I wish we could do obsidian slabs as well. That'll make it a lot easier. But this is going to require a lot of obsidian. I only charge snaps fifteen diamonds for this. Which, now I think about it, probably wasn't enough. Uh, he said we can take more if we need it, but... And it's raining, of course it is. Um, but we probably won't take more off him. Oh. Loud thunder. So this is kind of the design I'm going for. He only wants us to build the... First floor. Um, he's going to do the interior himself, which is why it's so cheap. We're only doing literally... The entrance, because like the majority of the club is going to be underground. So he said he wants to do that himself, which I'm not complaining about. It saves me a lot of obsidian. But the main like time-consuming thing is just getting that obsidian because we still got to build. That's wrong. We still got to build the rest of the roof. I'm just going to kind of slant it down so it looks like a tunnel going into the ground. Um, kind of like a subway tunnel sort of thing. That is loud as hell. I'll make sure to edit that out. Right, put the slabs here. Alright. So we're probably... Can probably just about... So how many did I do there? That's three blocks before we hit the middle. So we'll go another... Th oh, that's wrong again. It's so annoying. I mean, this pick is super fast, but when you place a block of obsidian... Without, oh come on! 
I also want to swing by Memories Library today. He's been doing some work on that. Um, need to go grab some more quartz. He's been doing some work on that. And actually we can sleep and get rid of this rain because it's doing my head in. He's been doing some work on that and the roof is starting to look really nice now. Um, he's kind of doing like a themed glass roof. He's doing like one part overworld. And the middle is supposed to represent the end. There's a part for the sky which is like blue and white. Why can't I get through the door? There we go. And then there's a part for the nether which is obviously red. And then a black part which is doing for kind of to represent bedrock. And he's, he's doing a really good job of it um, seeing his episode yesterday. Um, so we're going to swing by and see that um, at the end of the episode after we've done a little bit of work on this. Today's episode probably will be on the short side. I just wanted to get something out to you guys since in the next couple of weeks I will be doing a lot of rehearsing for presentations for university and whatnot. The usual, usual boring stuff. Right, that should be plenty now. This frame rate is getting ridiculous. Um, right, I'm just going to use my, my hand because it's so annoying having to punch. Oh, okay, we'll just leave that down there. <laughs> I'm too lazy to go and get it back. Oh, I so can't wait to get my gaming PC. Hope you guys are looking forward to it too. Um, I've been thinking like when I do get my gaming PC, obviously LCM will still be probably the main series on the channel. Um, but since I play most AAA games, um, we will be recording a lot of them. You know, I tend to play probably not any kind of shooters because that's there's way too many kind of um, like COD channels and I don't I don't play COD anyway, but you guys know what I mean. Okay, sorry about that cut guys. Um just had to use the little boys' room. So come back to what I was saying. And when I do get my gaming computer, obviously LCM will still be our main kind of series. But we will also be doing a lot of AAA games. I mean coming around that time of year. I don't know, I guess we'll have to I guess I can give you more information after E3 once we know what's coming out towards the end of this year. Um no new Battlefield game was announced yesterday as well. I don't know if you guys have seen the trailer. Um, if you remember, I'll link it in the description if you want to go check it out. It's called Battlefield Hardline. Um, so that's something I want to talk about. Like, I've always been kind of um, much more of a Battlefield guy than Call of Duty. I mean, I, I played Call of Duty 4, that was amazing, but after that I just sort of lost interest in it. And then Bad Company 2 was just amazing, and then Battlefield 3 was pretty good, and then Battlefield 4 was, and, yeah, it was alright. Um, but yeah, Battlefield Hardline was announced yesterday, and it's kind of, it's getting a lot of shit for not being a Battlefield game, because it's it's a cop game. Um, I mean, they call on it Project Omaha at the minute, but the official title is Battlefield Hardline. Um, but it's like set in Miami, in Florida, with cops and robbers and stuff. And for me, I've been a fan of Battlefield, that's kind of not a Battlefield game. Um, but I don't know. That is so loud. Phone's going off. Um, that's not it, is it? Okay, it doesn't matter. It's over now. <laughs> I'll make sure to edit that out because that was atrocious. I need to get out of this minecart. Snaps is on. Hey, Snaps. So, Memory Leak has finally built a road to his place. You don't have to cross a massive river anymore to get to it. Just started... Clavender. He can go check it out if he wants. It's not finished yet. And um, Mem's finally built a road to his place. We also need to get a lot of brick because Fabri has given us permission to expand the roads around. Oh my god, memory dude, this is insane. Oh, why isn't that symmetrical? Oh, that's so annoying. And um, yeah, Fabri, another one of the admins. I'm gonna check it out if you want. Out if you want to. And um, Fabi's given us permission to expand the roads. About to build a mansion and then sell it. No one's gonna buy that. Uh, <laughs> I give Snap like me and Snapchats give each other so much shit on the server. Um oh, this is what I'm showing you. Yeah, Fabri's given us permission to expand the portal garden road, um, around the portal garden, funnily enough. Um so we're probably gonna do that in another episode as well. Oh, the frame rate over here, 30 frames a second. 
Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Even though it's on like two render distance. That's great. Cool. Um, okay, what am I doing here? Um, let's boost our render distance up a little bit. Put it back to a nice healthy four. There we go. So this is what Mem's been doing. Let's see what we're turning about here. Here he's got like kind of like the sky portion. And he has got the most amazing symmetry skills right here. I would never be able to do this because I can't be bothered to count. Um, but you see he's got a little cloud going on there with some white stained glass, blue stained. Um, this is the overworld, kind of blues for the ocean, uh, green, browns, for art, dirt and whatnot, and stone. This is the bedrock bit. Um, I think he's doing that all the way around, is he? To kind of represent the bedrock at the bottom of everything. Then the nether, um, he's still not finished this bit yet, well none of it's finished. Um, and the black and purple at the top represents the end, which is a really cool idea. Um, I don't know what he's going to put in the library. I think he's putting in like crafting recipes and stuff. I think he's putting in. Can't remember. He's also built this custom tree, which is really cool. Um, he said it looked really lopsided in his video, but I like it. I mean, the trunk. I don't know. I maybe would have made the trunk a bit thinner at the bottom and kind of arched it over, but it's still good though. It kind of looks like um. I want to say one pin willow from Harry Potter. I think it's one pin, isn't it? I don't know. Can't remember. Yeah, but if you guys seen the Harry Potter films, it kind of looks like that. So check out some more of the mem stuff. I did want to check this place out the other episode when we checked out Chaffee's and Fappy's place, but he's so close to spawn. My everyone else is really far out. We'll also check out Snapsy's jungle maybe in this episode as well. Um, I don't know if he's done any work on it, I think he has. He's also building the pool, which is really good. Now, I hate endstone. It's disgusting. It's just like a pale, gross cobblestone texture. But he's put it with, I want to say andesite. Yes, got it right, andesite. He's put it with polished andesite and he's making a pool. I don't know how he's going to fill this in. I presume he's going to use ice, because otherwise this would be a nightmare to fill in. And then let's break the ice. He's also gone for... This acacia wood path as well, which is really cool. And this bit right here, just this colour palette is used, the white, the greens. Like, is this... what biome is this? Roofed forest. I love the colour of the grass in the roofed forest biomes. And it's gone so well with this colour palette, especially with the birch wood in the background as well. Like, the contrast between the white and the dark. What's this? Oh, anvil. And um, the contrast between, like, the light and the dark goes really nice. And then we come up into here. Still building this. His last episode he did this. He's used coal and quartz. Someone's rich. He's using blocks of coal to build with. Suave motherfucker. Come upstairs. The cobblestone is just placement holders until he gets the resources he needs to finish it. I don't know what he's going to do with these walls. I don't know if he's going to keep them bare. Or maybe add some paintings or whatnot. Or maybe like a pattern design into them. Either way I think it looks really good. Um, if he's going to keep it like this. The worst part of the about building big is finding a good place to build. And somewhere where people would live. Right. So, yeah. Yeah, that's Memory's place. Not much else has changed. Um, I don't think R&R &R Tim's been on for a long time, so his place is still pretty much the same. Still the purple and Dark oak, right? Yep. Um, okay, so let's head on over to Snaps' jungle. I'm not going to cut it out. Um, I think Memory's got a portal around here, right? Is it through here? It's like Memory doesn't have himself a portal because he's so close to spawn, he doesn't really need one. There is some chests, though. There, boring. Yeah, so I do want to talk about E3 a little bit. Um, this is probably going to be quite a talky episode, not get much done, but... We'll call it the Memory Leak Death episode, because that guy can talk. I don't know, like, when I sit down to record, I think, alright, oh, okay, what can I talk about? But that guy just talks about everything. I'm, I'm not saying it's bad, you know, don't, don't get me wrong, but, you know, he just always has something to talk about, which is great for being a YouTuber anyway. So let me find my way out. Oh yeah, he's also linked this up to kind of like a subway. Um, this is Serenity South, which comes out near his place. And then Lamps is building the portal gardens. There's not been a, any work done on them for a while. Um, he's still doing them, I think. I don't think he's giving... Oh, it's so loud. Um, Serenity West. 
I don't know where this goes out to. We're not going to check it though. We're going to head on over to Snapsy's jungle. He's been building kind of... Kind of like a jungle tribal theme. Like he's got like winding staircases going up the 2 by 2 jungle trees. Which was a theme I was considering doing before I settled on the Japanese theme. And me and Snaps were actually talking about this on a Skype call the other day. We were saying, should the server get reset, which eventually it will. Turn, what are some essential things you need to live in an area? Spawning cows. Um, a kind of close extreme hills. A nice scenery. Actually, no, it's changed that to nice natural scenery, not terraformed. Um, yeah, we were talking about, like, once the server does get eventually reset. God, that is so loud. Turn my headphones down a little bit. Stupid ghasts. Um, once the server does get eventually reset, which it will, um, it's just a matter of when Jonesy decides to do it. I mean, we don't want it to happen yet because we've still got a lot to do with the Pagoda and lots more diamonds to make through our Monopoly at Serenity. What are some essentials in a house? Um, varies for different people, I guess. Um, modern for me. I'm more of a modern house guy. So this is Faps. Is Faps. God, I, I keep getting everyone's name wrong. I kept calling Chaffy Fappy the other day. Um, so head through the portal. Does it still spawn us underground? Yeah, it does. Is this... Oh, it is diorite. Oh, I didn't know it spawned this close. Okay, yeah, we're going to come back and take some of this. Like a nice lawn, crossing trees and stuff like that. Yeah, um... Blue. Black stained glass. I hope I could spell. Black stained glass, quartz, snow blocks, just modern. Right. So, snaps, if that's okay, I'm going to come and grab some of that andesite because we do need some more. I've used all of it on Captain Directors, or Captain Direction, whatever it's called. And, oh, come on, get up. Don't take that out of context as well, by the way. Okay, we've got to drop the frame right here. This is insane. I think this is fairly new terrain. So every time we come out here, it just lags the hell out of the server. So he's built a little tent. Um, ooh. Ooh, he's got some brick. We do need that. I'm not going to steal it, though. So let's come over here. This is where we started off. I'm going to grab some of those flowers as well. We need some more red dye. Please fall in the lava. No, he's not going to, is he? Um, oh, God. Have I dropped that down? The lag is real at snaps his place. Okay, anyway, let's head up. So he's just built this out of slabs, and he's added these cobble pillars into the build now, which is really nice. He's got, like, the wooden support going up as well. See, that's what I like about builds, when people actually put... Obviously, in Minecraft, it doesn't need to be there. But it looks good when they put in supports that would have to be there. Just makes it look a little bit more a little bit more realistic rather than just kind of a fail at physics. So let's head on here. He's using the vines to get in and out of his house, which is a nice little touch. And this here too, I mentioned this in the comments on one of his videos. The fence with the green stained glass is a really nice feature. I'm liking that a lot. And then he's come out here, he's got some hay bales in the roof, which actually looks really nice combined with the oak wood. I'm a fan of that. And then he's built this kind of rickety bridge, which I'm also a fan of. He's kind of like just jutted out the fence a little bit, just to kind of give it like an uneven effect. And then he's like come around this tree both sides. I think he's grown another one on top there. I don't think it was that tall originally. Um, and then you come back up through here, and then this is where he's got up to. Overall, really nice build. Um, Snaps did used to live way, way out in the Badlands. Um, like, way, way away from spawn. Like, you were travelling, like, ten minutes in the nether to get to his place. But now he's moved a lot closer. So hopefully we can see a lot more of this once he gets it finished. Switch into F5. <gasps> Steve. Nope. 
And there's Captain Tim. There he is. Sweet. I want to call the episode there, guys. It's probably been a little bit on the short side. Just wanted to get something out to you. Since in the next couple of weeks, we will be rehearsing presentations for university. So, thanks for watching the video. Thanks for stopping by on the channel. Please do enjoy the video. And as always, please do enjoy the rest of your day, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Goodbye. Live from the Livecraft Mind Server, with your host, Captain Tim 100.